Hey everyone, it's Dave here, and today we'll be checking out the episode Yamada for LDS. When it was announced, it was quite surprising to me that it's coming up. Essentially, since Tokyo Cruise did not get any DLCs at all, and those games really take a lot of time to complete, so even the price point is always like high, the content value is one of the strongest on the store or lengthwise. Just to be all clear, this video is gonna be full of spoilers. If at this point you didn't like play the game or watch the whole playthrough that I did on the channel, like knowing the storyline and personally, I I feel like you shouldn't go into this episode not completing the whole game because then you're not gonna experience the story like properly so just to be all clear because we were going in with the analysis so this episode apparently introduces a new viewpoint of the storyline of all the US. in the original we would play as Chloe the Alto Machia pilot from Prometheus and she would be the focus of the whole gameplay here if we're talking about the interactions with Coco Noah like everything was pointing to Chloe being a certain point of everything that was happening now Yamato is the second person from Prometheus that uses Ares Machia and they both together with Chloe were like fighting meteors, right? Thing is that from what I recall, Yamada was the least favorite character for me in all this. He wasn't really like bringing as much personality as I would wanna and at the end of the day he had this kind of character that in anime or like manga I don't really care for to be honest. The only major thing I remember is that he joined Prometheus purely because of his story with his father and that's how he started being like a pilot. But honestly, I would would more appreciate DLCs of Dida or Julie like those are my favorite characters from this game like fascinating and just there's a lot to work with especially with Julie because she has a connection to the previous game so I'm kind of confused why they went with Yamado I mean I get it because he's the second pilot from the Machia but he's not a really big character to play with in the second playthrough so we'll see how this update goes then when I think about the storyline actually and that's why I'm telling you it's full of spoilers I don't know how we will experience the storyline because Yamado at the end of the day is there in the anima ending he was like defeated by Chloe in the battle because then Chloe and anima could go away to space as an alternative ending but that was his major part of the game but then if we were going with true ending and just the actual playthrough Yamato didn't really play a big role so I don't know how they resolved that actually I'm pretty sure this episode is gonna be just to reveal more of his story and his side of view when Chloe is gonna just you know run around and do her stuff but it's just gonna be interesting not to be a focus of the game I wonder if the storyline will be changed or we will go into another path like I'm curious like all the years is fun and I am one of the only ones that did the playthrough here since it's so long it takes literally a few months to complete the whole playthrough so it's long it's definitely the longest playthrough of whole quest library so it should be fun to be back in all the years <laughs> we're back in this title with this song extra episode new game okay so we'll enter through here I wonder what's gonna happen you haven't forgotten right Do you see this as a happy ending too? Whoa. <laughs> I kept on screaming that I'd protect her. But I'm always late to the party, always regretting things. Whoa. This time. I'll. This was when we were finding Chloe, so I think we actually go to the anima branch. <laughs> it's his colors, and now we're playing as him. I don't know where we were like start actually as well. Okay. Good job, everyone. You can go back to your normal duties tomorrow. Okay, I I think I remember. <laughs> well, hi, Chloe. <laughs> now it's gonna be different. Yamato? It's nothing. I'm fine. Just got something in my eye. I'm gone. Huh? Now we're like. I'm gonna be remembering the whole storyline. Hey, Chloe, hang on. Leave me alone. We can't do that. Chloe, you've been strange lately. Pale, lacking composure. First, I've heard you went into the Unique's room, though. Like, alone? What if it ate okay. you? Okay. 
Now I know the exact moment. Well, I'm still here, aren't I? Chloe. I wonder if something will be different or it's just that How we're playing as Yamada. Follow me. All the way home, I suppose. That's what we told the professor. So you're keeping watch on me then. <laughs> yeah, it's literally the same situations and the dialogues, but through his eyes. He was worried. <laughs> Looks like we've gotten on your bad side, huh? Like, I'll be real. We're worried about you. The second we take our eyes off you, you're gonna visit the unique, aren't you? Do you really think I can just sit around? When's the dissection going to begin? Wake up already, Chloe! Look, sure. It looks like Coco, but that doesn't change the fact that it's a Meteora, does it? It just looks like that to get your guard down so it can gobble you up! You're wrong. Anima doesn't have the slightest desire to eat me. Anima's just trying to communicate with me by touching me. It used touch because it can't speak. That's all. You may only see Anima as a sample to be studied, but it has emotions. It has preferences! Anima smiles like Coco does. Why can't you see that? Why won't you listen to me? We were the ones pushing Anima away in fear when all it ever did was offer its hand. If you can't see that, that's fine. Enough. Hey, Chloe. Hi, Noah. Who do you think you are, ignoring my show? Out of my way. I'm not in the mood. Hey. You know, I thought I hadn't seen you around for a while. But look at you! You look awful. Ragged. You're so pale. Now that's interesting to see Chloe like in its state visually. Like now we can actually recognize the emotions and what she's going through. Did Anima do something? Oh, I told you to stay away from it. Stop yapping in my ears. Leave me alone. Because she was perceived as like a soulless character before. Wait a second. Chloe, you're hurt? Hurt? Seriously, Chloe? It's none of your business. I told you to leave me alone. Hey, hang on. We're not done here yet. Is that a bite from Anima? Despite your regenerative powers? If it hasn't fully recovered, does that mean it's... That deep a wound? It's nothing. Nothing? After you got savagely attacked? There's no way that's nothing. It wasn't an attack. Anima didn't have any hostility. Chloe, something's gotten into you. You're the victim here. Sorry, Chloe, but I can't let this slide. Professor Julie's decision is probably right. We can't let the investigation continue. I'll report to the professor and hear her judgment. I told you that's not necessary. Anima's not dangerous. That's not our call, Chloe. You should present your case. Come on, let's go back to the lab. Don't touch me. I'm not going. Chloe, what's gotten into you? Why are you defending that Meteora so much? Have you lost your mind? I'm perfectly... Enough, you two! There's no point in yelling at Chloe. She knows what's going on. Like, you said it yourself, right? That's the Meteora that ate Coco. I mean, it might eat you too, right? Just leave me alone. Hmm. Okay. Chloe! Wait, Chloe! Come on, let's talk. I think that was the moment when the Mother arc started with all the father's story and stuff. Enough already. I've got nothing to talk about. Really? Nothing? When you look so pained? Pained? Is that even a word? So what if I look pained? What business of that is yours? It is our business. We're friends. Here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> Why won't you talk? Why do you keep avoiding us? What have you got against us now? We won't know if you don't tell us. I don't have anything against you. You just won't understand if I tell you. Words are just... 
too flimsy to express emotions. Now it's kinda like we're decision making by Yamada and we have a situation that do we choose things that went accordingly in her storyline or do we like kinda go in the other direction? Because I don't know how the storyline will pan out. I don't even know, do we even have Ariadne? Wait, okay. Yes, but I don't see that it's all connected or something like that. I guess Organia is fucked because Yamada always was thinking chaotically. <sighs> Look, I don't want to be understood. I don't think you would anyway. Look, I'm real stupid, okay? True. So, believe me, I know how it feels when you can't express what you're thinking. Seriously, I don't even know how to respond now. But aren't we just, like, talking past each other? Like, I don't get what you're going through, but I never will unless you tell me about it. Ugh. <sighs> like... We can't ever take Coco's place, but still, I want you to rely on us a little, yeah? Remember, we're here for you. Hey, Chloe, how about we go out into town like the old days? Maybe put on a concert? Anytime you call, no matter where you are, I'll come running. I'm pretty dumb, and I'm not the best Machia pilot, so I might not be the most reliable, and I know this is all I can do, but that's all the more reason I'll say this again and again. I'm here for you. You're not alone, all right? Like, until you feel better again, Chloe? <laughs> I still have to go. I can't let her be killed. Why do you care about her so much? Because I'm not the only one who's alone. <sighs> if Coco's inside of her... If she's really there, then it means we're not the only ones getting crushed by loneliness. I won't abandon Coco ever again. I promised her I'd always be with her. Always with her? If you get it, then leave me be. I can... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Wait, Chloe, I'm not done yet. Ugh, damn it. Why? Yamato? Where's Chloe? She's gone. How about on your end? Wait, yeah, right now that Chloe's gone, we are playing as Yamada, so now we see like new things. I managed to calm Noah down. You alright, Yamato? I'm really just spinning my wheels, man. I said I'm always there for her, but what's the point when she won't tell me how she feels? Hmm. Let's leave it be for now. Chloe will probably quiet down by tomorrow. Yeah, guess so. Man, I suck. I even made Alba worry about me. Okay, I think we'll stop here though. It's like, you know, no point of doing like a half hour episode as well. I'm gonna do a whole playthrough of it, obviously. Like, that's what we are here for. I do have to say, I really like seeing Chloe actually in front of me. That's a very fun part of this episode. It's pretty much that the dialogues are going in the anima ending then. Which means Chloe will have an intention to kill us, nevertheless. But since like now this episode introduces his part when she's not around. So that's new. But basically, and his thoughts and his just choices in the Libra. I'm not sure how long is it gonna be, because the whole branch of anima, let me see where is it, it was splitting here to the Noah's concert, and then it was just, 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 just here, basically. And I think that was around three hours, maybe? So I think that's gonna be the content that we were looking for, actually. I don't see that we're gonna have, like, a split in Ariadne, so that might be unrelated to the choices in the main storyline, because it's already, like, fixed in place. Chloe does her dialogue according to the Libra that is already pre-made. We, as a Yamato, we have choices, but I do wonder if we will have like different endings as well, but that may be a little bit harder to reach, or maybe after completing once, we're gonna have like an, a separate Ariadne here, so we'll see. I'm kinda actually interested now getting to know more Yamato, because in the main storyline his character was kinda like Luster, but as he told himself, he's not good expressing emotions and stuff like that, so we'll do a whole playthrough as well with other endings. Some people will get triggered because this is gonna be past 30 episodes, so we'll see. Good to be back.